What's going on guys, this is your boy Project Ice, but I'm bringing another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, we uh, started exploring Anju's, Angie's uh, castle that sprouted up after touching the, the whatever crystal that was under the ocean. And uh, now we're here. I have no idea what this is all about. Uh, let's save. Free and happy. This servant has some moves. So skilled. I wonder if she's been practicing for a while. I was born with the gift of dance. I will bring salvation through sick moves. It looks like she's a chosen one, Cannon. Think I could grab a bit of that skill for myself? You like to dance, Aaron? I don't really dance other than dancing in my room where no one else is watching. I think the amount of actual talent I have for dancing is about zero. If you want to dance, you just do it. Just do it? Can't hurt to try. So, like, what do I do? Just let your heart move your body to the rhythm. Like this? That's right. I think I'm feeling something. It's kind of fun, but I'm not sure I would consider this dancing. In fact, I feel a little silly right now, and... Yeah, I'm done. Maybe another time when no one's watching. Aw. <laughs> I'm glad I came back and did that. <laughs> So there are specific areas where you can do this, and the roof was not one of them. This place, it's a nursery. Yes, this is where Anju's son was kept. I remember Anju saying that she rarely stayed in her room, own room after he was born. Her own room was far away, and she wanted to be close to him, always. I know you've been having trouble remembering a lot of your time as the Amira's servant, but... Do you remember the baby's name? His name. His name. It's on the tip of my tongue. I know his name. I know it. He's so beautiful! Oh my goodness! <laughs> He's so beautiful, I can't get over it. Almost like a porcelain doll, Vivian. Look! Look at it! Look! Wow. Thank you. I love him dearly. So are you going to keep him in this cage forever? C cage Vivian, this is a baby's crib. Oh, how was I supposed to know? I wasn't raised like this. Living underground your whole life must have sheltered you from this kind of thing. If it worked for Sella, you'd be a lost cause. Living as an heiress of some fancy company didn't help you much either. You thought babies hatched from eggs like Pokemon. I'm just saying, did anyone record Andrew giving birth? Well, we know she could have laid an egg. I... Husky, you are a very strange woman, you know that? Strange? No. Uh, <laughs> darn it, I messed up that part. Vivian, Cannon, please be ready to catch him. As you wish. You got it. Careful. Look at you. Aren't you, what's his name again? It's Christ. Oh, the gym leader! I remember him. Wait. In fact, wasn't he trapped? Wasn't he trapped in that built in that uh dimension, in that castle Andrew had, for a while, and we got him out? Oh, baby, Christ! You're kind of chunky. Now that's just rude to the baby. I I wouldn't do that. What's the worst that could happen? Bleh. He gets motion sickness right easily. I'll get the paper towels. That's right, the baby's name is Christ. Didn't Venom say she met a person named Christ in Aji's domain? Elida also met a person named Christ while on her journey to the springs. Could that really have been the same one? If it was, he would re surely remember his mother, right? No, Christ was only a year old when this region was torn apart. But even still, it seems like Andrew was a very well-known person. And if that Christ was the same person, he must know of his family name at least. 
I don't have the answers for you. You're looking for. I'm sorry. Sorry. Those questions were just me talking aloud. Well, we were in touch with Christ now that we're affiliated with the League. Maybe when we, we maybe we get back home, we should ask for a meeting. Affirmative. So, if Christ somehow escaped this manner during the calamity, I wonder just how that went about. I assume when things started getting bad, he was evacuated with staff around the house. They were quite trustworthy people, and they were dedicated to Anshu thoroughly, which makes it even more confusing that he had no housekeeper, who had no keepsakes or knowledge of Anji's being his mother. I'm suspecting some sort of foul play somehow. This is assuming Christ actually didn't know anything, but it would be odd for him to not to say literally anything. Again, we could contact him if we need be. We have his number at HQ. Hmm. You're going to be turned into a beautiful art sculpture. Seriously, I'm not lying. What the? Move! <laughs> be gone. Gotta go! Nope. <laughs> hmm, last toys. Oh, wasn't expecting you to switch, okay. Okay, uh, that's gonna be difficult to deal with. Never mind. Am I going to be turned into an ice sculpture for failing? This isn't fair. I don't want to be turned into an ice sculpture. And just leave. No one's forcing you to stay here. J just leave? I... There's no possible way I can do that. Uh, never mind. I don't want to talk to you anymore. That's the cold truth. I think you're lacking understanding when it comes to servants. Like I said before, servants are made using the blood of their master. Therefore, when they're created, they have this sort of connection. Think of it like a child and their mother, a parental bond, if you will. Besides, like I said, we're not made for anything else other than to serve. Doing anything other than that is unthinkable. I don't know, Canon. That one seems to be thinking about what I just said a lot. Huh. <laughs> not possible. That's... That's not how things work, right? Our servants are bound to our masters for eternity. That's just how it is. Oh, back here. Let's see if we can go back and heal real quick. Thank you. 
Never thought I'd see the sun again. I kind of missed the feeling of being closed in, though. <laughs> Oh! Ariana? Ariana! Aaron. Oh, Ariana? Who's that? Is that your, is that your uh, other name or something, Aaron? Aaron, are you okay? You clammed up quite a bit just now. Huh? huh? Uh, did you feel that at all? Hmm? N nothing. Just forget about it. Okay. What was that? That name? I can't help but fight these things. Go for, go for reflect, I dare you. All right, yeah. I always forget that uh, doing that gets rid of my my fire type. I don't think about it. Items. Oh, for Raichu. We got a Banitite, Charm Crest, Pharaoh Crest, Gardevoirite, Glaceon Crest, Hypno Crest, Leafeon Crest. Abomasites, Absolites. Time to give you that, uh, for Kata. What should we give you? Do I have something like a steel plate? No, if, I, if not, then I'll just ha make you hold the metal coat for now. And for Grelly Bean, let's give you something. Let's give you something for the uh, fire typing. Oh, a bomber site is right here. Should be in the what you call it. Uh, oh, don't I have two of those now? And Benatite right here too. Okay, let's save the game right here. This door is locked too. How are we supposed to get anything done around here? Um, not that I'm promote doing this, but 
but taking the building's design in mind, we could probably get in through the window. Look at you, Cannon, being brave. Well, it was what needs to be done, so I cannot protest. Wait a sec. Could you just warp behind this door and open it first? That'd save us a lot of time, at least. If only my warping was that useful. I can only warp to people and have a connection to my master, Alexandra. Of course. Alright, how about an object that has a close connection to Alexandra? Can't say I've tried doing that, but in theory it could work. An experiment that's worked locally over, I think. Anyway, what should we do now? Let's explore the room before heading back to the rooftop. Very well. I'm hiding for the Reg Ice. They're too scary for me. Huh? Do they attack you as well? They attack anything that moves. Doesn't matter who or what you are. Not a nice neighborhood to live in, huh? I think there was a bite. Pull up, pull up. Can we surf here? Oh! Ah, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Nice. You're gone. Okay, so we're back here. Something tells me that I could use Surf. Nope! Okay, so you just come back <laughs> for surprise encounters. Cool. I'll remember that. Oh, right. Um, I wanted to see if I could surf up there, uh, through, through here, since it looks like these ice areas are connected.
Wait, but I have a Pokemon Surf. Never mind. <laughs> I completely forgot I had a... Uh, what you call it? So no, I can't Surf. Okay. Let's head to the rooftop ASAP. Very well. Did I want me to go from here? I don't know where they wanted me to go from the rooftop. Perhaps I'm supposed to go backtrack? That changes things. Okay. There we go. Ah, that's right. This is Andrew's office. His place. Cannon, you don't have to hang around if you don't want to, you know. If you're bored, you can walk around the garden. Oh, is my presence offending you, aren't you? In that case, I shall be on my way. Offending? No, that's not what I meant. You seem to be twiddling your thumbs just waiting for something to happen. Haha, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Servants cannot access or feel boredom. I am merely passing by the time. What are you working on, aren't you, if I may ask? Oh, me? I'm just filling out some orders. Spotlight City is opening up a new restaurant. And they want several pants of ne never bell size. The usual. Ah, once I'm done here, I think I'll let Nimira know the good news. Nimira told you to watch over me that day then. She told me to wait here until she got back home. So I suppose I'm babysitting then. As for Nimira, I guess that is. Cannon. Please, you don't have to do as you're told all the time. Take a rest. Go visit. Do, do as I'm told? Uh, I'll do as I'm told. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. C Cannon. What's the matter? Are you okay? I'll do as I'm told. I'll do as I'm told. I'll do as I'm told. Oh dear. Cannon! Cannon, what's wrong? Did you remember something? I... What is this feeling? Why did I break down like that? It's this room. I don't know what you remembered, but you can't stay here. Let's rummage through what we can and leave. 
No, it's... It's okay, I'm good. We could take our time. I just had a moment, I guess. Okay, but if you feel something coming up, just let me know. Right. Thanks, Aaron. Ah, here's a key. Hey, a key. Thinks this one's for the courtyard? Hmm, no. Actually, that key looks like it's for the ballroom. So the key to the ballroom was just hanging out here on Angie's desk? More likely that it was placed here on purpose. Seems like we've been invited to a ball, Ken. Yes, indeed. The ballroom is located in the West Corridor. We should make haste. Huh. Fascinating. Hey, Cannon. Mind if I pry info out of you? Most certainly, Aaron. What do you need answered? I was just reading this book about Anju. You know, before she left her icicles. The interactions I've had with Anju have been pretty sparse, but... Sounds like she was revered by many. People from all over the region knew her name. Oh, of course. She was the head of the church at Kurtzline Town way back in the day. She only preached about kindness and acceptance. Anju also traveled to far-off regions in hopes of helping the less fortunate. I thought religious figures were supposed to ha live in humble traditions. Wait, don't tell me. This isn't a cliché story of a church using their doctrine to manipulate the public into giving them their hard-earned cash, right? Many a tale about established like that. They live in huge fancy houses, filled with staff and Pokemon alike. Not anything of the sort. How'd you never ask the public to donate to her? Besides, it's not like she ever needed the extra help anyway. She was a businesswoman too, you know. Oh? Anju was blessed with the ability to convert, create Nevermelt Ice. Many of the trainers using ne Nevermelt Ice aren't even aware that they're custom made for, from Anju's power. Not only that, but her product was also huge in the culinary world. Imagine creating a freezer that didn't require electricity. Just trust you old Nevermelt Ice. I could definitely see that appeal in something like that. Cost effective options like that must have been attractive to restaurant owners. Anyone who could use cooling to their benefit, really. Most certainly. I'm glad you started this conversation with me. I've learned a lot about who Andrew used to be, so thanks. Sounds like she had everything together. It makes me wonder about how and why she's... Well, like that. Unfortunately, that's not a question that even I can answer. Ah, so that heads here. Okay. Oh, so that's not for that, right? To the barroom, he said. Oh! Computer's working slow. Go for Reflect. I promise, it'll be best for you. Darn it. Oh, right. Huh? The keys are working. This particular door key require this particular door probably requires a different key to the one we have now. Fine. <laughs> Ah, 
Now that I think about it, there's that one area we didn't... There's this one right here, right? I don't think we went down here. Never mind. Now this just heads uh, back into, what you call it? I didn't expect to just stay at the base of steps like that. Yeah, man, go for reflex. I promise, that's the best strat. Damn it. Oh, wow. It took Angie three weeks to conjure up enough sacrifice to make that glacier. And some nut job just decided to release the lock and destroyed it. Those nut jobs were us. You ruined our lives. How do you feel? Just peachy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. Okay. I thought I survived that for a second.
that's not why. I... Okay. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. Goodbye. Not gonna do much, but at least the. Have I been recording for too long? Sorry if this, sorry if this is like cutting into, I'll make sure to uh, cut this out of the recording when I edit it. Okay, let me, let me just continue from here. It's almost exactly how it was before. Shoot. Okay. Remember something about this room too, Canon? Yes, Andrew's beloved ballroom. She would throw extravagant feasts and parties for her, for her people of Crystalline. Huh. After this, I'm definitely saving it. For some reason, it's giving me trouble. What a wonderful ball, aren't you? Thank you, Hazuki. I'm, th I'm glad you could make it. And you're finally in appropriate wear. Nicely done. I've been forced to go to parties like this ever since I was young. As a result, I guess I've just gotten a hang of this kind of thing. The Meadery family must keep appearances and all. You get it, right? Absolutely. I'm just glad quite... I'm just glad Christ barfed on my armor rather than my dress. Kind of miss my gear, though. Way more comfortable than this thing. It's weird seeing you out of your armor, Vivian. Hazuki. These days, I swear that's all you wear. To protect the Nimera it is of utmost importance. I must be, re I must ready myself for to be her shield at any moment necessary. It is most unfortunate that my lady was not able to attend today's ball. But worry not. If she is in danger, I can bring you all to her immediately. But honestly, Vi... V, I sent you the funds to buy a nice dress, and you buy a pink tuxedo? Dresses look weird on me, because pink is kind of my color. I suppose you do look quite good. Everything work out. Regardless of what we're all wearing, I believe we're going to have a great time tonight. We're off duty. This is supposed to be a moment of fun for all three of us. Finally. Cheers. Let us be festive and celebrate the coming of the new year. V, is there something wrong? I've... I've just been feeling weird lately. 
I don't know if this year is going to be a good one. Just a hunch. Always the pessimist, V. Sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the mood. You guys are right. Let's throw the radar and hope for many more years to come. That's more like it. Please, come dance with me, V. Oh, goodness. How did it come to this? <laughs> those were joyous times, but those moments were few and far between past that point. Vivian sacrificed herself later that year, and then... Er, still foggy. Sorry. No, it's okay. I think I learned a bit more about Anju. If she was festive and lively like you described her to be, what changed? Welcome to the ballroom. I'm honored to have guests tonight. Angie. You've all gone through quite a bit of my estate at this point. Tell me, has your tour been enjoyable? You have a nice place here. Truth be told, it's a little too cold for my liking. Give it time. You may become accustomed to its wrath. We don't plan on staying long enough for that. Where are you keeping Alexandria and Damien? They are safe. In fact, I don't think they've ever been as safe as they are now. Encased within my ice, there is no fate more comforting. Your whole shtick is preservation, correct? What do you gain from preserving them? Anyone. Just what do you want? They are just one step in a bigger procedure. Upon birth, I was blessed with the power of ice by Lord Arceus. For a long time, I pondered the reason why I was given such blessing. But then I experienced an epiphany. This world was created by Lord Arceus, and its original state it was perfect. But then humans were created. We do everything we can to fill this world with grim, grime, and evil. And as time goes on, the beauty of the world diminishes. So in order to maintain the beauty, you're going to preserve the entire planet with your ice? That's correct, and I won't stop until every corner of this planet is covered in with a thick layer of ice. I was slowed down by delinquents at the Isle of Angels, but I won't allow that to happen a second time. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. What just happened? Oh, Lord. 